Good morning and welcome. We are here today to discuss the concept of understanding forces. We will cover the different types of forces, their application, and the effects of those forces upon objects. So let us begin to explore the world of forces and its influence on our lives. Force is an essential part of physics and nature, affecting us in our daily lives. It is a push or pull on an object, resulting in the object beginning to move, switching directions, speeding up, slowing down, or ceasing motion. Examples of force include muscular force, force of friction, magnetic force, electrostatic force, and gravitational force. Force is present all around us, influencing how objects interact with each other. Gaining an acceptance of forces can be beneficial in understanding the world and gaining insights on its inner workings. The objects interact with each other to create forces. For instance, a person standing behind a car does not cause it to move, but if the person applies force by pushing the car, it moves in the direction of the applied force. This interaction between objects is what leads to the creation of forces. When two forces act on an object in the same direction, the net force is the sum of the two forces, while if two forces act on an object in opposite directions, the net force is the difference between the two forces. Forces provide us with a way of understanding how the physical world around us works and the type and direction of the net force acting on an object can have a significant effect on its motion. By understanding which forces are acting on an object, we can explain its behavior. Objects can have several effects when acted upon by a force. Examples can range from pushing a car to riding a bike or rolling out a chapati. One can notice the use of force in various activities. Force can be utilized to initiate an object that is stationary, end an object that is moving, alter the rate of an object in motion, redirect an object in motion and even alter the shape of an object. Depending on the circumstances, the force can lead to one or even multiple of these effects. Forces are a mysterious yet influential element in our lives. There are two fundamental forms of forces. Contact forces and non-contact forces. Contact forces are those that are exerted between objects coming into contact with one another, like muscular and frictional forces. Non-contact forces are those that are put into motion between objects without any physical contact, as in magnetic, electrostatic, and gravitational forces. All these forces have a role in our lives and comprehending their influence is significant. Contact force is the sixth type of force. It is the force that is applied when two objects come into contact with each other. Human beings and animals alike use muscular force as a form of contact force in their daily lives. Muscular force is the force exerted by our muscles which we use for our everyday tasks. Similarly, animals such as bullocks, horses, camels, donkeys and elephants apply muscular force to carry out varied functions. For instance, a bullock cart traveling from Delhi to Mandawa uses muscular force to move forward. Friction is an invisible force that acts upon an object that is in contact with a surface. It can slow down the motion of the object, or even stop it. A good illustration of this phenomenon is seen in cycling races, such as the Bay Cycling Classic. When cycling, the riders must expend energy to make progress and overcome the friction of the air and the ground. This force of friction also influences everyday activities, such as walking or lifting which require movement of objects against various surfaces. Magnetic force is an inexplicable force that can cause an effect from a distance. It is caused by the alignment of the magnetic poles and can lead to the attraction or repulsion of magnetic objects. It has numerous applications in modern technology, such as electric motors, generators, loudspeakers, telephones and MRI machines. Examples of this force can be seen in the pull and push between two magnets and also in the influence of a magnet upon a piece of iron or steel. Electrostatic force is the force of attraction or repulsion between two charged particles. This force is generated when one particle produces an electric field, either positively or negatively charged. 
An example of this is when a plastic straw is charged by rubbing it with paper, it will then attract another plastic straw when suspended, or if negatively charged, it will repel the other straw that was charged by rubbing it with paper. Gravity is one of the fundamental forces in physics, being responsible for the attraction of objects to each other and for keeping us to the ground. We experience its effects all the time, from a pen dropping to the floor to a ball thrown upward and then coming back down, and from leaves and fruits detaching from plants to the water in rivers and streams moving downward. The gravity of our planet is what causes acceleration and allows us to remain firmly on the ground. When we gaze up to the night sky, we can see the fascinating effects of gravity on far-off galaxies and stars. Pressure is calculated by dividing force by area. The smaller the area, the greater the pressure applied. Thus, a nail can more easily penetrate a wooden plank if its tip is pointed, rather than flat, as it applies greater pressure. Similarly, a sharper knife will be more effective in cutting vegetables compared to a blunt one. Furthermore, shoulder bags are usually equipped with broad, not thin, straps in order to minimize the pressure on the shoulders. Other industrial uses of pressure include meat processing, cutting tools, knives, and fuller chisels. Understanding how liquids exert pressure is important. Pressure is applied to the walls, bottom and sideways of a container. This phenomenon is demonstrated when a balloon is filled with liquid. The pressure of the liquid is greater than the elasticity of the balloon, resulting in an expansion. This pressure has numerous applications and can be a powerful force. Atmospheric pressure is caused by the weight of the air. The magdeburg halbkugelver such experiment demonstrated that a 10 cm by 10 cm air column weighed the equivalent of 1,000 kg. This remarkable physical phenomenon encourages us to further explore our atmosphere and how it affects the environment.